now we will proceed in our next step that is step four creating logical layer systems till now we have placed the mechanical equipments we have placed and sized the air terminals now we have to create a logical system between these two before this we must understand the target and source relationship what is that we have a source and one we call as a target so all the equipments let's say it can be an hu or it can be an fcu okay it can be an fahu all the mechanical equipments comes into the category of source and target yeah, all the air terminals right all the air terminals can be it can be a diffuser it can be a grill it can be a register sidewall diffuser disk valve any any kind of an air terminal will come will come under the category of target so the information flows the flow flows source to the target right <clears throat> so to get a perfect to create a perfect logical system a very important very key element for getting a perfect system is the connector settings the connectors of the source that means the mechanical equipments the connectors of all the air terminals okay so there are some recommended settings that we have to follow before creating a logical air system just we need to verify okay so here if you see it's a source it can be an hu fcu fhu these are the settings that you have to check before creating a system similarly in the target so information flows from source to the target so like if you see the flow direction flow direction here it is out right and uh, in the air terminal the flow direction is in in okay many times what happen uh, the mistake we do is we we set the flow direction out because we we think as it is throwing the air out of the out in the space so that's why why it is in it should be out but no the airflow flows from source to target so if it is coming to the target it is going in right inside the target inside the target so these things you have to keep in mind so let's see these settings in revit one by one let's jump on to revit <laughs> So select this and go to the edit family. When you select this connector, these are these are this is called as the connector. Okay, on which the from from where your ductwork will be take off, right? This is called as a connector. So when you select this connector, there are some settings over here. First is your the main the main thing is this mechanical and mechanical flow. Okay, only this one. Uh, flow configuration. Flow configuration is set to calculated. Okay, there are three preset and system. Preset we don't use. Present we use for the uh, for the targets. For the targets we use preset because here we are manually putting that information. We are feeding the information. That's why it is set preset. But in the case of mechanical equipment, we have to set calculated because it is calculating from the mechanical equipments once it is connected. Okay, that's why it is calculated. The flow direction it has to be out because the flow is going from the mechanical equipment to the air terminals system classification supply air okay uh, return air exhaust other fitting and global is not recommended for a good system okay so uh in in the case if you say let's say for example if you set global okay it will take the last system which you are working on okay so other but you, you don't have to set global it's uh, you know very uh, you, it will be get very complicated because it will always take the last system which you'll be working on okay so either you have to take you have to specify from the defined uh, uh, defined uh, supplier classifications okay loss method uh, loss method you can either you, if you don't want to define you can not define or you can select coefficient if you know the coefficient of friction you can specify over here or if you, you know the pascal how much pascal losses is there you can click on specify okay so uh, uh, pressure drop and this is 
linked with with the family parameter which we have inside external static pressure this to this similarly the airflow the flow parameter the flow for this one is linked with this one okay so uh, th these are the settings for the source that is a mechanical equipment let's say let's take any of a uh, diffuser go to that go to the edit family select the connector here the flow configuration should be preset <clears throat> because we are putting the information you see in the last class we have uh, put the information for the flow right so that's why it is preset not calculated flow direction in because air is going in supply air specific law the same thing these again the same thing so these things you have just you have to check you have to make sure this is correct then you have to create the system okay now so how do you create the system always you have to select the uh your target any of the target you can select any of the air terminal you can select here we have an option create system click on this create system here you can specify your name okay so so this complete is in zone a let's say for example zone a right we are doing for zone a so i give in the name it as zone a click okay i want to add other air terminals as well so once it is created here we have an option called added system click on this added system and we can add all the supply only not the return return will be a different system supply supply or else we have the supply 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 the supply this one whichever i am feeding with this mechanical equipment that i have to select okay now i think all all those are selected and now you can select a mechanic click on the select equipment so this is the equipment from which we'll be feeding select this equipment okay so as you can see here it comes a zone a and system equipment name is 1880 lps click on finish okay now the system is created you can see the blue color appears why blue color because we have specified blue color for the supplier that's why it is coming over here okay so uh, now uh, how you can uh, verify the flows so when you hover the mouse any of this blue diffuser and you press tab and click so here we have properties for your system properties for your system okay you can also check by each space like let's for example if I, select, if I select this space so in this space uh currently if you go to the mechanical flow uh here we have let's understand this you can what are these parameters uh in for every space you will see in the mechanical flow there is a specified supplier flow calculated supply airflow actual supply airflow then return airflow is specified return airflow actual return airflow okay and specified exhaust actual exhaust outdoor airflow so what do we mean by is you see specified calculated and actual when we have to use this means specified like let's say for example if you are not doing the calculations the heat load calculations in revit okay heat load calculations if you are not doing uh just one minute if you are not doing in revit okay then you can use this specified supply airflow you can enter your own value whatever you want whatever you want okay from your own results from either from hap or ies whatever you are using for calculating the load you, are, you can put the information whatever you get in that case calculated will be not computed because you are not using revit to calculate the load okay calculated will be there when you are using uh, revit for the load calculations 
So if you are using Revit for the load calculation, whatever the value will be here, it will automatically appear in the specified supply airflow. Okay. Actual supply airflow. Actual supply airflow means when you put the diffuser, actual means how much air is going in this space. Okay. Right now, how much it is? It is 228. How it come? One diffuser, 114. So 114 into 2. 228. It is coming to 28. Let me remove one from this. Let's see how much it is. 114, right? Okay. Let me remove this also. Let's say, for example, this also. Then how much it is? Zero. So when you place the diffuser in the space, then it will calculate the flow rate, whatever you have mentioned over here. Okay. That's what mean by, that's what it mean by actual supply airflow. Okay. Actual means it's taking from the air terminals, which are placed in the Revit model. Return airflow. Return airflow means let's just select this. Ha. Huh. Return airflow. Now A for return, Revit gives us options. What do you want to take? You want to specify. You want to specify you want to take whatever the specified supply airflow. You want to take whatever the calculated supply airflow, or else you want to take whatever the actual supply airflow. So it gives us three options. So generally we take actual supply airflow. Whatever we are supplying, only that much we have to take return. Okay. If you want to take the return, whatever the calculated, you can select calculated. Okay, but I want to select actual, whatever the supplying that has to be written. Okay. So the whatever you have specified over here, it will take that value in the specified return airflow and actual return airflow is same is as per the diffuser. If you remove this, it will change, right? It will change. So actual means as per the diffuser in the model. A specified exhaust. Now there is no calculated exhaust. If you see why, because Revit does not do the exhaust calculation. That's why. So you can, if you want to take any exhaust, you can specify the exhaust value. And when you put the exhaust diffuser in this room, it will take the actual exhaust airflow. Outdoor airflow is taking as per the space type, which we have defined earlier. Classroom and all, okay. Now, uh, now when you go to the system, when you select the system, it is telling me that this system is having number of elements 17. System equipment name is 1818. That is the this equipment name. Systems name is zone A, which we have given. Static pressure not computed. Flow is 1855. 1855. Why it is 1855? It has to be, it has to be equal to the zone A, right? Zone A, how much we have calculated? It was 1734. It has to be equal to 1734. But uh, I, we are not getting uh, that much of the flow rate. And it is computing. It means it is showing the addition for all the air terminals actually. Whatever it is showing, uh, it is showing all the air terminals which are connected in this logical air system. That's what it is showing. Okay. But it has to be equal to whatever the value we can see in zone A airflow. So for that, we have another step. We have next step. Okay. <clears throat> that is that is step five. Analyzing logical air system. In that we will be creating the schedule. So let's see that in the next video.